Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you the best game played on the Lee Chess platform in the month of March 2025. Player with white pieces started with c4, the English opening. Maybe e5, knight to c3, knight to c6, knight to f3, d6, d4, g6. Play with the black pieces is playing the king's Indian defense. e3, bishop to g7, bishop to e2, knight to h6, white to move, d5. I am sure that Petrosian, Tigran Petrosian, would play this move too in this position. Knight to e7, e4, black to move, f6, to make the room for the knight. Perhaps f5 looks more aggressive. But f6 was played, h4, hurry can't wait to open the file. Knight to f7, h5, wasting no time. Bishop to h6, bishop takes on h6, knight takes on h6, h takes on g6, h takes on g6, queen to d2, knight from e to g8. White has a better development. Play with the white pieces, a castle at queen side, connecting rooks, King to f7, white move. Perhaps white should prepare g4 pawn push by playing knight to e1 first. What do you think? Well, there was no preparation. g4 was played, sacrificing the pawn. Bishop takes on g4. And now knight takes on e5, check. f takes on e5, bishop takes bishop. Queen to f6. Let's take it back. If knight takes on g4, then rook takes rook. Back to our game. Queen to f6 was played. Bishop to e6. By definition, this is a bad bishop. But when bad bishop is outside the pawn chain, he is a very good bishop. King to g7. Knight to b5. Queen to e7, rook from d to g1, a6, white to move, and this is a very interesting moment. Perhaps knight to c3 was expected, or maybe knight takes pawn on c7. We have f4, sacrificing the knight, maybe. Pawn takes pawn. What's wrong with taking the knight? Let's have a look. If pawn takes knight, then, what happens then? Rook takes on g6, check, kaboom. If king takes on g6, then queen to g2, check. King to f6, queen to g5, check with matos. And let's go back to this moment. What if the king goes to f8? Then f takes on e5. After d takes on e5, rook from h takes on h6, Knight takes on h6, and then queen takes knight. After rook takes queen, rook to g8, checkmate. Back to our game. So in this position, we have pawn takes pawn. Queen to g2, g5. White to move. How would you continue now? Knight takes on c7. Deflecting the queen, but rook to f8 was played. Let's take it back. If queen takes on c7, then queen takes on g5, check. After king to f8, rook takes on h6, knight takes on h6, queen to f6, check. After knight to f7, queen to g7, check. King to e8, bishop takes on f7, check. Queen takes bishop, queen takes rook, white wins. Back to our game. So in this position we have rook to f8. And then e5. What a cool move. f3. 
What's wrong with taking the knight? Let's have a look. If queen takes on c7, then queen takes on g5, check. King to h7, queen to g6, check. Mate, back to our game. Here we have f3 attacking the queen. Queen takes on g5, check. Queen takes queen. Rook takes on g5, check. King to h7, white to move. How would you continue? Play with the white pieces played. Knight to e8, threatening. Check, mate. Rook takes knight. White to move and to check, mate in one. And the move is bishop to f5. Check, mate. Wow, what a fantastic game. Definitely worthy to be the game of the month. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.